Hey guys, we have a KitchenAid ice maker that's not working. Looks like um, there's a problem with the mechanism that turns the ice maker around. Looks like it, there's cubes in there, but not all the way. Um, so it tells me not enough water coming in because not all the the ports are filled and also the auger is frozen in the middle of the the cycle. So uh, there's a couple of ways to test it. Uh, most of these mechanical ice makers have these little holes here. If you can see, there's a T and H. That's the one, uh, it's a for thermostat. So basically what you wanna do, take a little jumper pin. Of course, when it's still in the fridge and plugged in, you can stick this in there. And then uh, if you feel the finger here with the fingers, very slowly these paddles will start to turn and uh, eventually it will dump the old cubes and fill up with water. And, um, and then it should start basically uh, the new cycle until it gets cold enough and the thermostat gets closed off, which we here we uh, close it off with the pin. In order for that, you need a working water valve and it needs to be cold enough here. This has to go down to like 17 Fahrenheit to be able to produce cubes. So if it's barely cold, let's say ice, ice cream is melting but the rest of the food is frozen, there might be no production of ice cubes. So in this case, I tried to bypass it and I didn't spin around. So uh, we assume it's bad. We're gonna replace it. Also, you can test for voltage to make sure you're getting voltage to the ice maker. It, uh, it's a neutral and line. Between these two should be 110 volts. Also, there's a door switch here. Uh, some have two door switches, some have one. Um, basically, s most of them you need to push them in for the ice maker to operate. Otherwise, with the door is open, it's not gonna operate. So put some tape over it or hold it when you're doing the test. And if the ice maker is not cycling around, um, the only way to fix it is to replace it. They do sell parts heating elements, thermostats, stuff like that, even motors, but it's not worth it. Just replace the whole thing. And there's a part number right on the ice maker. Um, two screws on this one's a little different, a hooks, but usually there's a screw here and a screw there. You screw it in, plug it in, and uh, it's fixed. So uh, on this fridge, there was another issue. First, it was not enough water pressure, which end up replacing the filter housing. And that's why the, not all the ports are filled up with water. So a slow, slow fill. So hopefully you have only one issue to resolve, but in this one, there was two, two things. So, okay, uh, hopefully that helps. That's how it looks in the back, uh, the water fill. Uh, container hooks up to here. It was easy to replace too. Just disconnect the lines there. The water filter. If you're not sure if your water filter is having trouble, you can try running without the filter. See how the water pressure is. If the pressure is low, uh, sometimes you can do a you can run without the filter, uh, but most of the times you need to put a bypass. Otherwise you're not gonna get any flow at all without the filter. So if you're not sure, you can buy a bypass cap for your filter and uh, test. Basically you will test if it's a problem with the filter. Even if the bypass cap installed, you're still not getting good water pressure. Uh, I guess disconnect the line and uh, put it in the bucket, turn the water on, see if you're getting good pressure, cap installed, and uh, st still water barely coming out of the dispenser, 
then it's the problem with the water filter housing just uh, clips these two guys clip in there feed the lines through and uh, connect them and then you get the water pressure restored and your ice maker is spinning around you should be getting ice cubes so there's a yeah I guess there's a few things that could be wrong with ice makers just showed you a couple basic tests that you can do first test the water pressure test the ice maker itself to decide what your problem is for no ice if you have questions uh, leave us in the comments thanks a lot